I guess I'm ready. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Borderlands Weekly Video Podcast Thingy. I'm sorry that you have nothing better to do on Christmas Eve. You must be really bored. You're probably watching this rolling out of bed midday instead of wasting your boss's time like you normally do when you tune in and watch it. But let's talk about what's coming out this week. So we've got a bunch of comics and toys. Everything's still released today on time, and uh, we even have a surprise for you. So if you come by the shop today, we have a Marvel calendar that has an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. trading card, and it's free. So come by today. We'll be open till sometime between 5 and 6. When it completely dies, we're going to take off. The latest will stay at 6. Um, so there you go. Somebody call in probably to see what time we close. But I just said that. I don't know why they weren't listening. But it just is what it is. All right, calendar. There we go. All right, make it quick this week. I'm sure you got stuff to do. Oh, and I have been inundated with a multitude of awesome birthday wishes. And I just want to say thanks. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for reminding me that I'm old. Hmm. All right, moving on. DC Action Comics trade. Manhattan Projects by Hitton and Patera. Awesome stuff. This is that new. This is the color X Men Volume One. This isn't like the uh, black and white ones that they did a while back. These are in color. No idea why there's a shadow book in here. Those of you that know me, that's dripping sarcasm. Yay. Green Arrow Volume 4. Yeah, Green Arrow Volume 4. By Lamar. Killjoy, Volume 1. That's hard to do. Um, well, I'm actually shooting it right now, but thanks. Appreciate it, Storm. Happy birthday. We're making Christmas stuff. It's awesome. All right, so that was Storm. Storm says hi. All right, Batman Eternal. The Tales of the Batman by Len Wein. South Carolina Comic Con guest, Robert Venditti, Exo Man of War, and our buddies at Valiant. Remember Valiant when it comes to SC Comic Con, more to come later. Oh, what, did we mention Robert Venditti? Holy cow, might even mention Van Jensen. Green Lantern, Lights Out. Archer and Armstrong, one of my favorite books. Let's go into. Comics. All right. Captain America the Mighty Avengers is three. Yep. Captain America the Mighty Avengers three. Harley Quinn. Darwin Cook variant. Our Commander out this week. Batman Annual. <coughs> they snuck it in just in time. Rasputin. It's actually been pretty good. If you haven't read Rasputin, that's cool. Outcast, for those of you that are horror fans. Bodies. Megan Hetrick, you're awesome. She's coming to see Comic Con. She worked on that. What? Get a copy, get it signed. Black Science by Rick Remender. Batman 66. For some reason, that's kind of hot right now. If you haven't picked up the DVDs, do. Flash by Darwin Cook. Grace of Annual One. Gotham by Midnight. Yes, Gotham by Midnight. Green Lantern Annual 3. They're sneaking all the annuals in. Which, by the way, this week's a big week. Next week, there's almost nothing coming out. It's really light week next week. Hawkeye, Deadpool. So you'll have something to spend all that Christmas money that's burning a hole in your pocket on. Like everything in the store. So I'm going on vacation in the Bahamas. It's a nice thought. It's not going to happen. But if one of you wins a lottery, let me know. We can make something cool happen. Axis number 9. All new X-Men number something, annual number one. Everybody did an annual this week. Aquaman kissing Mara, that totally deserves a cinematic cover. Justice League Dark on Easter Island. I like the way Darwin Cook thinks. Robin Rises Alpha. There you go. Sinestro hanging out. Pretty cool looking John Romita Jr. Superman cover. This thing. This is the uncanny of X Men. Apparently, She Hulk is now an administrator at Xavier's school for gifted and talented children. They have big feet and lasers come out of their eyes. Superior Iron Man number three. Secret Origins number something. What number are you? Eight. And it's got, I guess, 
you know, the variations of Dick Grayson there. New Avengers, featuring the Inhumans. And Joe, for those of you that keep up, I wonder why Marvel's starting to feature the Inhumans all the time. Crazy, isn't it? Isn't that weird? All right, from our buddies at Valiant, we have Unity, number 13, with an ad for Ivar the Time Walker 1. What? If you did not pick up Valiant last week, uh, the Valiant number 1, we have a retailer exclusive cover here. The book is beautiful. You really should check it out. Um, this week, also, previews, where you can order all of the amazing goodness that you like, whether it be comics, games, t-shirts, whatever. So you know how they say opposites attract. So one side of this is a glitter covered gym cover for previews. And the other side is a Mike Mignola Frankenstein. Gym Frankenstein. Just proves that opposites attract. That's all it does for me. I don't know about you. Uh, merch. Most amazing toboggan skull cap ever. Looks like Venom ate your brain. Those of you old remember that toy, we'll think that's amazing. Uh, Jay and Silent Bob, Marvel Select Figures. We've been waiting on those a while. Pop vinyls, Roger Rabbit, we've got Marty McFly. We have the Eagle Moss Wolverine uh, chess piece special. We've got Harley Christmas, Dick Sprang Batman, and I bet we have a Dick Sprang Joker hiding over there. He's over there. Um, Star Wars Empire vs. Rebellion, the little card game. It's only like 13 bucks. It's a great deal. Arrow figures. We got in Canary and Arrow. The Arrow even has Deathstroke's mask uh, with an arrow through the eye, like a totem of it. It's really cool. Mist Freeze statue. Before I go on, pretty amazing. If you like Joe Kubert, one of the great legends of our industry. And Enemy Ace was really awesome. Those of you that know me know I'm a sucker for old DC War stuff. So this is an artist edition of Enemy Ace, featuring Joe's art at 100%, scanned in full color. Epic. Oh, all I can tell you. It's really cool. Um, also, Star Wars Imperial Assault is in. We do have that. That's in stock right now. So if you want that last minute Christmas present for your board game Star Wars fan, that's good. Witcher, we have that. And figures that I can't see. Looks like we got back in the Batman Capullo. And what else? We got in Commissioner Gordon this week. We got in Batgirl this week. We got in an Avengers Ice Tray. I don't know who would like Avengers Ice Trays. I know my Captain America Ice Tray is pretty cool. Dangerous Divas trading card set. The Marvel Legends Infinite Series of Guardians of the Galaxy where you too can build Groot. Yeah, it's true. And I guess, is that everything? Did I get it all? Maybe? I think? That's, That's it. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. you got more important stuff to do. There's a fat guy coming to your house to bring you coal. I don't know what you did, but it wasn't good. Anyways. I hope each and every one of you have an awesome holiday, whatever version of the holiday you celebrate, whether it be Christmas, Kwanzaa, uh, whatever. We just, I really appreciate everybody tuning in every week. Um, thank you. Thanks for everybody's support in the store and allowing me and the guys to do what we love to do for a living. And uh, every time we do a charity thing, you guys are always there to support it, and we appreciate that. So that said, have a great Christmas, and we will talk to you either one more time this year or in 2015.